Hello everybody, we are just getting started with generative AI developmental capabilities and almost all the IT services companies are running that race. Now, who do you think will be winning that race? Is it Infosys, TCS, Wipro, Cognizant, Accenture, IBM? Why don't you take five seconds based on all the information that you have right now, go ahead, type down the company name that you believe would be winning this generative AI services race. And in this video, I want to start off with a few factors that I believe could be influencing this race. And the first factor is the total amount of investment itself that these firms are committing to developing their Gen AI capabilities. And the first number came from Accenture. They said that they are committing $3 billion to develop this entire Gen AI capabilities. Wipro has committed a billion dollars. Cognizant, another billion dollars. Well, we did not hear any of these kind of numbers from TCS or Infosys. I'm sure they are committing certain numbers, but probably not at this scale. We just never know, but that's a wild hypothesis. Because if they are committing these kind of numbers, they would definitely come into the market and they will try to create a lot of hype around it. But that did not happen. Now, the second factor that could influence this entire race is how are these companies trying to develop this AI capability itself? For example, TCS has emphasized a lot on we are upskilling 100,000, 1 lakh employees on AI related skills. And Infosys also came up with certain set of numbers. TCS on top of it very clearly said, we are certifying 25,000 employees on AWS Gen AI capabilities. However, developing a capability for an organization just does not stop at upskilling employees. And Accenture has got this spot on. They said that we will design the AI solutions, we will develop the AI solutions and also upskill the employees in this entire AI space. Well, this does not mean that all the other companies are sitting idle and not doing anything, right? TCS has, has also announced that they are now launching an AI practice in collaboration with AWS. Partnerships will go a long way because almost all these services companies are starting from scratch. If they have an able partner who knows a lot of stuff already, their journey would be much more faster and they have potential to run longer distance at a faster pace. Infosys, on the other hand, has also developed a fully comprehensive platform, Infosys Topaz, where clients can go ahead and start getting the insights based on the AI capabilities. So a lot happening in this space. If you ask me, well, I have worked at Accenture in the past and I would like to believe that Accenture is or would potentially win the race just based on the total size of the investments and their holistic approach. Now you tell me your version of the answer. And all this was happening on the sidelines of the NASCOM Leadership Summit. And there were some very interesting questions. Does developing AI capabilities means more jobs or less jobs in these IT services companies? If they are developing these capabilities and if they are automating a lot of processes, would that mean they need fewer employees? And TCS CEO was asked this exact question. Is Gen AI one of the reasons why a lot of employees are laid off or the overall recruitment numbers itself coming down? Is Gen AI the primary reason? Well, the numbers speak for themselves. In FI 2023, the total hiring into the IT services industry was close to 2,90,000 people. And in 2024, financial year 2024, which is ending this March in next one or two months, the total hiring was roughly 60,000 employees only. So this drop can be attributed to already the development of Gen AI space. Well, the answer was very, very, very politically correct. Correct. Right? He said, we are not going to reduce the number of people that we are hiring. However, we will change the profile of the people we are hiring. We probably may need to change the way we train people, what we are training them. That may change. And what does that change reflect? Number one, folks with AI skill sets with respect to specific tools. And also he emphasized very clearly, we will require critical thinking. Our ability to do strategic planning, creative thinking will not go away. We will need more people doing this. And this is where your critical thinking abilities, problem solving abilities will come into the picture going forward much more or probably at least the same 
as your technical abilities. Now, what is problem solving? What is critical thinking? These are very, very, very strange terms and nobody has the right meaning of these. If you ask me, problem solving or critical thinking is just like math. I run a specific program, an experiential learning program called Blue Chapter Management Consulting Experience Program where we actually help folks learn critical thinking. And how do we do that? 20 to 25 students in the cohort will solve client problems. These are not necessarily technical problems, but these are strategic problems. And you continue to solve these problems over three months period. And once you finish the three months period, you understand what problem solving is. There are not many ways for you to learn critical thinking or problem solving. The only way is for you to practice it. It's like math. You cannot sleep, you cannot read and learn maths. You have to actually solve the problem and critical thinking and problem solving is the same. If you are interested in this experiential program that I personally lead, you can go ahead and check the link in the description box. And if you have any queries, you can send it at, at info at bluechapter.com. Now, coming back into the video, all the events coming from NASCOM 2024 are leading to exactly the same thing. We have to develop our AI skills, which could simply mean learning about the adjacent AI tools with respect to our domains and number two we become better problem solvers for tomorrow thank you so much guys i hope this video is helpful for you and do let me know if there are any specific topics that you want me to go ahead and create a video on see you in the next one bye bye